Righto, welcome back to the pickle factory where we're going to go through and have a look what we're going to need to put this back together. There's a lot more missing. I forgot taking stuff off it. But anyway, let's go through this turd, see what we need, and we'll go shopping in the yard to make sure we've got everything. Because it's, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so it's now, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and then Christmas is Monday. So basically today and tomorrow, I've ordered a lot of parts. So I just went to Super Cheap then and got engine oil, a filter, a fuel filter as well, gear oil. Our new gearbox is here. The T5 for this big beast. So it's there, it's a pretty tidy looking unit. Okay, so we've got a throw out bearing on there already and a clutch fork. This still has in it, from what I can tell, the bell housing's on there and there's a clutch in it. I was going to order a new clutch for it to put a new clutch in, but by the time well, everything happened and I got this over here, even if I ordered one, it wouldn't have been here in time to put in before we put the box in. So I may have to put the box in, the clutch might be fried and then put another clutch in, but at least we'll get this running. Um, picked it up with the forklift. I'll never put nolithane bushes in a car ever again. Like, they are just junk. Hang on, I better turn off these cameras and alarms. Hang on a sec. Righto, at least we won't have stuff going off in the background now. Okay, um, so I've ordered new top hats. There are ones in other cars around. I went and had a look. There's one over there with nolithane ones. They'll break again. There's a Commodore over there. By the time I pull struts out of another car, spring compressors, get the tops off, put them in. I just ordered new ones, but just normal rubber replacements. Righto, so they're on their way. Worst case scenario is I'll pull struts out, but they should be here, I hope. So I've ordered in-tank fuel pump, external fuel pump. I think the internal ones turned up today. I just got a message, so it's over at home. Um, so stuff's coming. So that should be enough to get it going. The guy, when I got the gearbox, gave me a box of crap here. He said there's a guy that wants to buy the pedals for a couple of hundred bucks. So I might even sell him the other pedals because this still has... Oh shit, there's no clutch pedal in there. Okay. Well, I might need the clutch pedal then from the looks of that. Righto. Anyway, I'm not going to sell the clutch pedal to him straight away then. So he gave me another starter motor. There is a starter motor still in the car. So, yeah, so there's a clutch pedal, so it's just the pedal I need, but I do have another one sitting at the door, I think. A couple of cross members and the cable. I'm pretty sure I had another set of clutch pedals just here somewhere out of a VN. They were sitting at the door there for months. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I'll be able to find them somewhere. They might still be there. Anyway, righto. So definitely gonna need top hats for that. I took the, is it this one I took, I just need an alternator. We'll go have a look for one in a second. We need a radiator, an alternator. There's a starter in it. We need a brake master. Um, I don't know where the keys are to this thing. So we might look for a steering column and ignition. We've got a tail shaft there. We've got two side, there's one sill mold missing this side. And there's yeah, both front ones, they're sitting there, so we've got those molds. Um, the seats, front seat on that side's a bit average. I think I've got a couple of SS seats, we'll go have a look for them in a minute. It's got console pieces. I've got these hanging around, but I think there's some in this car anyway, the hockey leg things. They're there. Rear spoiler, there's a side piece. I think I've got another rear spoiler at home. We'll try and get in this boot now, I think, and see what's in there. We've got the rest of our SS strips sitting on the back here. Um, yeah. I think we'll be able to piece it together. So we need alternator. Let's go shopping. Alternator, steering column with a key. So I've got... And it needs a fuel tank in it. There's no fuel tank under it. 
So this chute here is, and I need an air box too, probably. So, bear with me, guys. One-handed Willie here. All right, so we've got an alternator, we've got a radiator, and we've got a brake master on this one. So there's, there's a good start. So that's got, I don't mind pulling that one apart because I've never had it running, I don't know what it is. There's a VS over here that I know runs and drives, I don't really want to pull it apart. I've got a V6 car just here, it's easy to get to. So hopefully there's a key in the ignition of this one. So this one's got a fuel tank in it, has it? Has it? Or not? Have a look. Yep. I know it's not a V8 tank, but they're all the same. Okay, it's got it's got a boss kit on it for a steering wheel, which is great. It's got a key with an ignition, so I can drop that whole column out and put that whole complete piece in, which is great. This one gives us um, brake master as well, so we can use that one. Yeah, sweet. So brake master, steering column. What else do we need? Alternator, which there was one on that other car, but I've probably got one on the shelf, so I don't have to pull it off another car. And worst case scenario is that sedan there is a V8 as well, which I can steal an airbox off. I'd rather leave that car alone if I can, because it's complete and mint. Oh, there's another V in here. I forgot about this one. What's this one? It gives us a couple of trim bits. What's in it? Just in the door. I collected that many of them over the years that you lose track, to be honest. Brown seats. This one might be a V8. Let's look. Oh. Auto. So it gives us these bits up here in the dash too. There's another. Oh, is it missing an ignition, this one? Nothing like going to Lucky Dip when you stick your hand into these cars. You never know what's going to jump out and kill you. Don't know. It's an automatic car. It does have a radiator. Don't know. Anyway, I think we can get what we need from that blue one and that ute that's at the front there. So that'll be all right. Um, yeah, so we should be all set. So, righto. Um, in the comments... So, yeah, like, where do I even start? I don't want to. I don't want to address these com comments because you don't want to encourage people to carry on. But yes, I understand. I've got a lot of projects. Yes, I understand. From the outside looking in, looks like I do nothing. I work. How do you put all this together if you don't work all the time to make money? So it's great that you done whatever it is to your car in the time that I've had that, but. You guys see about a quarter of what I do, maybe not even a quarter. Yeah, a lot of it's just work. But anyway, just bear in mind when you go to put some comment up, just step back for a second and think, oh, hang on a second, he's doing his best. He doesn't actually care, you know. A lot of you guys, the reason I keep doing this, a lot of you guys are awesome, I must admit. So I will step back and say thank you very much to those guys that have been there and supported me and enjoy what I do and understand that one day this will all come together but today isn't that day. Righto, um, I know that you just want to see more of this um, but I want to play with the SS. Let's go out here and see if I can find these SS seats. This has come along, I've done more, bought more, it just never ends. I just bought a couple of um, RB30 turbo manifolds, so a couple of the VLs and Skylines and stuff here starting to put all those turbo kits together for all of those cars. But um, it all takes time and money. A piece from here and a piece from there. Righto. It's in here, remember? I had to get out here soon and clear most of this stuff out and finish off all the earthworks. Um, do you guys enjoy the um, yard updates and stuff like that? 
Um, yeah, because I've got a bit of that stuff there of building some walls and stuff. Right, eh? What do we got? This was full of tail lights and crap there at one stage, but I've got the boys to throw most of it out. So, got a VN parcel shelf, which is great. Some more boss kits. I fucking just ordered boss kits too for that other car. Didn't realize these ones were in here. Um, SS seats. So there's a rear seat, another really good parcel shelf. Some mint door trims to put in that SS. Um, yeah, VN SS seats. So there must be two in there that are in good shape. So that stuff there, it's Falcon stuff. Right, hey. Okay, so we've got, um, we've got good front seats now and maybe a good rear seat so we can do the interior nicely in that. Door trim's there in really good shape. You can take out these inserts and put in the SS ones. So that'll clean up the interior. Hood liner, we'll look at that down the track. Um, so we've got the box to go in, we've got oil there for it, we've got tail shaft. We've got throw out bearing and clutch and all that. We've got an extra set of pedals. Um, alternator there if I haven't got one on the shelves on that other car. Airbox I'm not sure about. I think we're there. There's two different options for brake masters there and boosters. So we'll pick the best ones of them. How sweet is this van though? Love it. Do you know how hard it like... Um, talking about the guys in the comments whinging about that, oh, you've got this car and you've got that car and you don't do anything. Do you know how hard it is, right? Driving along in a truck 10, 12 hours a day, right? And you see a car come past the other way and you know you've got one there yourself and you're like, oh, I'd love to do that. And you start dreaming about wheels and woo and all this. And then the reality of it is you're not going to get to touch that for ages because you've got 50 other cars you've got to do first, but you really want to do that. That's why I flip from thing to thing. I just, I enjoy it, but it's still frustrating too. And having to explain myself to people all the time drives me freaking mental believe it or not I sort of know what i'm doing but anyway that's half a plan for that ss i just hope some more of those parts turn up over the next couple of weeks a uh, couple of days really because christmas is christmas is on us now so but yeah right oh all the console bits were there i'm just running through it all with you guys so you see actually what goes on i'm pretty sure we're right We've got most of the trim bits there for around the windows. We've got the strips. We've got wheels out there on that um, Commodore. We'll just run stockos on the back because I don't think those deep dish ones are going to fit. We may have to pull a... Um, I've got a shell out the front there, a VL, which gives you 15 mil a side. So I think it's 30 mil, 15 or 30 mil a side, so you can put big dish wheels on. So we may end up changing the diff over to make it look sweet. Um, yeah. I think that's a plan, guys. But for now... I'm going to change the plugs in the Liberty, which I've been meaning to do three weeks, I think it is now. But things, hopefully things have started to slow down for Christmas already. So, yeah. So this thing here, I'm just going to put that up on the hoist so I can get in and around it. Put the plugs in it. I don't want to put it back outside. But then, this thing here has been sitting here for ages. See, that's what I should be working on. See that there? That's what I should be working on to fix it, sell it, and get it out the door. Mechanically, it's mint, just needs some cosmetic stuff on the front. And there's a lot of new panels for it. That's what I should be working on. But instead, we're going to take a trip down to Turdville. Play with this bad girl. So, yeah. Most of the back seat and that should clean up. It's just gone off a bit on these strips. I may use all that other interior to make it as neat as possible. I'll find some speakers for in the back there because the parcel shelf's not bad. The hood liner has dropped and it's terrible. We might just pull it and oh, pull it and paint it perhaps. Right, oh steering wheel. I hate that one, so we'll find something. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll address the SV89 that was in the backyard. Someone said, "Oh, it looks worse now than when you got it." Well, it probably did because I'm pretty positive that car's been underwater. So, if I had bought that back, done a resto on it instantly the next day after whether it was salt water or whatever it would have continued to rust or whatever from underneath it needed to be sat aside in a dry area where i'm in western queensland for it to dry out i do have another car over there for rust cuts for it i have a calais sitting right there okay which gives me stage three dash because the dash is all shot in that thing i have to get the hsv face out of it and do all that but 
all the electrics in it, the wiring harness have to be changed over, all the electric window motors need to be done, which is what that Calais is for. So even though it looks like that's just sitting there, it's sitting there for a reason, to make sure. I'll pull it out at some stage, um, probably six or eight months before I'm actually gonna start on the car, and I'll go through and pressure wash the shit out of it two or three times to make sure there's any hint of salt water or anything gone out of the thing. The interior needs a full resto, that's why it doesn't matter with it sitting there the way it is. The motor and box are still perfect, but um, there is a method to the madness, okay? Um, enjoy what I do for what it is. Variety and variety, and just enjoy the different problems that come up, the puzzles you've got to save. Don't take it all too seriously, because I can guarantee you, I don't. I don't care if I never ever finish another car ever again whether I just play with this bit today and then play with that bit tomorrow. Don't care, but just enjoy it for what it is. Take what you can from it, learn what you can from it, and enjoy it, because that's what it's about. Because our kids are probably not gonna be able to enjoy it, to be honest, and it's very frustrating. But anyway, I think that's enough of me ranting. But yeah, just, even not on my channel, just all channels, when you make a comment, yeah, anyway, what a, piece of shit anyway what do you do <laughs> but honestly like once this is lowered on a set of wheels the strips and all that are back on i might order a new set of decals for on here so it just looks fresh we'll do all the strips and stuff like that so we'll probably like my other one gloss black all these in two pack real nice so it actually accentuates a bit of it i might get just a little bit of phoenix red and dust over some of these areas a bit just to bring back a bit of the red and maybe hit this bit that's a bit terrible. Um, we'll obviously replace the boot. Let's grab a screwdriver. Let's get in this boot. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully there's an alternator in there. I'm pretty sure I stole the alternator. I put a blower onto a 5 litre a while back. And I needed an alternator. So, yeah. Anyway. Why is it whenever you're looking for a flathead, you can only find a Phillips head. Whenever you're looking for a Phillips head, you can only find a flathead. So hopefully this will jam in there and do it though. Yeah. One day I'll even get back to this thing. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's just look through the tail lights. Oh, what's in there? Oh, there's the SS spoiler. Oh, the fuel tank's in there. Sweet. Righto. So, don't have to pull a fuel tank out. Okay. Look at that. It's doing its work for me. This thing's almost putting itself together. Righto. Alright, I need to get this um, Liberty back together and off the, put it on the hoist, get it done and then put it away. Um, in between times, I think you'll see a Mint H EH Premier that's coming in. Um, just got to do a little bit of finishing off to it and it'll be sold. So anyone that's looking for a full-on Mint original-ish EH, there'll be one of them for sale in the next week or so. I'm probably picking it up tomorrow. Yeah. Righto. Cars. Yeah, buddy. Alright. I just, um... What are the alarms? I keep forgetting to turn them off. Um... Got this VL wagon here. I just ordered some um, RB30 turbo stuff, so manifolds and stuff. So I've got this this VL, which is a manual. All right. Um, this R31 here, but it's an auto. I want to put a turbo on something, so I'm just yeah going through to work out. So this thing's not too bad. It's not rusty or anything. It's just a bit rough. The like interior and all that's there, but it's auto. I've got one. Oh no, I've got two manuals there. That's one thing I've got to start buying is a lot more gearboxes. There's um, a mission I've got to do soon, like these Duratex that I've collected for like the likes of your Escorts and your Couriers and stuff like that. I've got some gearboxes here. I've, I just bought another one of those Focuses for one. I'm going to pull it out it's got a flywheel and stuff on it to start working out what gearboxes will bolt up to those for the conversions. But anyway, this thing's rough at best. It looks to be fairly complete, sort of, kind of, um, but I've got no keys, so I might look for some keys now. If I can get that ignition to work, we might get this going over Christmas as well, so I'll have a bit of a Commodore Christmas, nothing but bogan heaven. Yeah, I don't think it'll be driving or anything, but if we can get it to run, it might be a good candidate to do one of the turbo kits, but I'd actually prefer, I've got a, um, a sedan over here, actually. I'd prefer to do the sedan, so... 
I'd love to do a Skyline. I've got this one and I've got that white one there, but it'll be this one that gets turboed first, I think. We've got this white VL that I've had for quite a while. I gave it. Stepson said he was keen. I sat it here for ages and a mate wanted to buy it. I never ended up selling it to my mate because my stepson wanted it. But um, yeah, but it is semi complete. A mate sort of gave it to me a long time ago. Um, yeah, but it's just RB30. It come out of Crow's Nest. He bought it for parts and yeah, sort of ran. But anyway, we'll um, we'll see. I'd rather do do the. But that's auto as well. I gotta buy some gearboxes. So if anyone's got any manuals for RB30s and tail shafts and stuff, hit me up. I'm keen. I'm not. I don't want to pay a fortune, but you know. Fair is fair, I need probably five or six, I'd say, something like that. Righto, keys for the VL. If we can find keys for it, then we can have a look at this one too. Happy days, dudes and dudettes. She's in the shed, or in the workshop, or it's in there, whatever you want to call it. Righto, so that took about 10 times longer than it was supposed to. I, made, I put this little winch in when we first come in here, but because I had staff, it's wrecked. So yeah, anyway. I have to, I'm going to clear that area out while we're working on this car over the Christmas break and put the, a new winch in there. And it's just, everything we ever done was half-assed. It drives me mental. But anyway, right ho, what a pig. Uh, it'll be all right. You'll be surprised how quickly this, you have seen me do it before. You know, you have seen me do it before. I put it in around the other way just for light and stuff like that because a lot of the action is going to be happening at the front here. It's just fuel tank in the back. So yeah, righto. I'm going to um, pull this video up here because over Christmas I'm going to try and upload every day or every second day because I'm going to be actually here working. So I'll do my best to film and um, get you up to speed with what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be a beast. Cool, alright. Uh, see you tomorrow, probably. Maybe, if you're lucky.